young woman. <laughs> get in for a sec. Get in, get in. What's up? Uh, I just had to tell someone. Tell someone what? I'm pregnant. Uh, that's, uh, good? <laughs> I'm over the moon! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. You're gonna be an uncle! <laughs> uncle Hugh! Uncle me! <laughs> wow! And the father? It's complicated. I haven't told him yet. So, this is our secret until I do. Mum's the word. No pun intended. <laughs> I'll need to take a leave of absence. Yeah, you and everybody else around here. If <laughs> <laughs> I ran like that, I'd keel over. My film. <laughs> Breathe, Andy, what, your film? I got accepted in the Newport Beach Film Festival. <laughs> no kidding. Congrats, that's, that's, a, that's a very uh, prestigious festival, very competitive. <laughs> Thank you. You entered in the student category. Women in the director's chair. Holy smagdolians, <laughs> that's great. You are gonna attend, right? Yes, my dad's paying for my trip. Good dad. Thank you, thank you so much for all your help and your advice No, no, and... it was all you, Andy. You're, you're on your way, kiddo. All right, well, <laughs> bye for now. Bye. Hey, hey, come on so in! Fun. What are you doing here? Well, I come bearing gifts. You want a cup of coffee or something? I would love an Irish coffee, but okay. in a moment. All right. What's this gifts thing? <laughs> I can't let you fight this fight alone. When you mentioned Wharton, it got me thinking. I have an old flame that works in the records office. Is this his transcripts? I'll be damned. Blackmail? No. What is it? Um, uh, fraud. 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 What is it you want? This doesn't have to go public. No, not necessarily. I mean, it could, but but it doesn't have to. Let me think about this. What's to think about? What would you do if you found out that Jay had never finished his his dissertation? but had listed PhD on his resume. I'd fire him. Exactly. You know, it's gonna be difficult for you to continue as president. Mm. Faking a degree is such a rookie move. Yeah. You of all people should know better than that. I had six credits left to graduate. Ran out of financial aid. Met a girl, road tripped across the country. I inhaled, blah, blah, blah. Never went back. If you were to nix your plans to get rid of the film department... Hire Buddy Schmidt on full-time. Yeah, and publicly demonstrate your profound respect and admiration for the faculty, the staff, uh, the student body. I have a standing offer as a lobbyist anytime I want for a hell of a lot more than I make here. Then consider your time here as a minor setback. <laughs> Go get rich. Resign. After one semester. Huh. 
That'll raise eyebrows. You discovered you could be more effective to the public at the Capitol. Greasing the wheels of government. Not bad. We're opening a door for you. It would be wise for you to walk through it, President Thorne. <laughs> You gotta stop meeting like this. Yeah. <laughs> you going to Johnny's lecture? Yeah, I'm uh, introducing him. No. no. Sorry about uh, your boss. Mm. I had to do what I had to do. What goes around comes around. Yeah. We're hoping he'll do the right thing. <laughs> well, he'll do what's right for him. So, uh, where does that leave you? Oh, I'll move on. I'm gonna help my husband run for alderman. Uh -huh, yeah. What's his name again? Lamar Reigns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Conservative? Liberal. Oh, well, I like him better already. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thanks. For, uh, dropping the hint and waking me up. Oh. Why'd you do it? Well, like I said before, my dear, I never wanted to see the film department eliminated. My own daughter's a film major. Oh, well. Good for her. Where at? Well, you're her favorite professor. Andy Rains. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I see it now. She's a smart cookie, just like her mom. <laughs> She's on cloud nine with this film festival news. Oh. So. Thank you. Yeah, your daughter has a bright future. I'll catch up with you inside. All right. <laughs> it's so what's new and exciting? Well, um, got a minute? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna exit stage right. So I'll see you two later. Okay. Gotta make my award-winning pasta. Mmm, okay. can't wait. <laughs> Save me some. Will do. So, what's up? Wow. So, I, I'm the... Me, I'm... I, I, hey, I don't want you to worry or feel the need to do anything. I don't expect financial help. You can be involved as much as you want or as little. The baby will be fine. I just, I didn't hear anything. So I, I guess I figured maybe my shelf life had expired. <laughs> Artificial insemination is a strange process. Only a 30% success rate, but we did it. <laughs> oh. I am so happy for you and Melissa. Who else knows? Uh, for now, only Buddy knows about me and Melissa. Hugh knows about the baby, but not about your uh, <laughs> donation to the cause. <laughs> but feel free to fill him in. I'll do that. Public higher education has become our problem. Oh. I remember a time when colleges developed knowledge through research and scholarship, imparted knowledge through teaching, applied this knowledge through public service. But our academic institutions have been hijacked by the plutocrats of our rapacious culture and the managerial class that does their dirty work. Here's our opportunity. And we must take this opportunity as students and teachers alike to insist that we are not here in academia to meet workforce needs. We are here to search for the truth. We must insist on intellectual excellence, not practical knowledge. And trust me, there is deliverance, solace, and joy in making art, in making music, in making friends, in making meaning. 
This modern academic paradigm reminds me of a training school where we're not taught to think, but to mimic. We're not taught to question, but to listen. We're not taught to critique, but to commend. And we're not taught to imagine. No, sir, we are trained to pass the exam. And for that dubious privilege, we are crippled by student loans so outrageous there is nothing for us to do after graduation but collapse into our pathetic corporate cubicle and start paying off our debt. They win. If we let them. Remember, education is your right. Do not let college interfere with that education. Know that the road to success and happiness does not always pass through the hollowed halls of academe. And know also that your teachers, when they are able, are here to give you the tools to live meaningful and significant lives. Lives that improve and enrich our society. Refuse to let yourself become merchandise. Profit is not the bottom line in higher education. Your future is. Live your dream. Not your parents' dream. Not some executive's dream. Your dream. Your life. Your story. Go out and write it. Thank you. good to know I can still be inspired. <laughs> so when are you going back to LA? I'm not. Kate wasn't ready for commitment. And you are? I think I am. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, her loss is our gain. Lauren filled you in about the... Uh... Found out today. Are you the father? After a fashion. What does that mean? It means I'm the donor. You did meet her significant other, Melissa, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met her at uh, St. Patty's Day. She's a hoot. God, I'm stupid. You have any plans for the summer? Actually, I booked a brief vacation in Dublin, researching the pubs over there. Ah. A pal of mine is lending me his place while he's out of town. So, all we'd have to do is cover our expenses. Our expenses. Uh huh. Jay, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs>